Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am covering the tragedy out of Moscow, Idaho. Do you think Brian Kohlberger can be convicted if authorities don't have the murder weapon, the knife, the big knife that was used in this crime? Do you think he can get convicted? I've been thinking about this, right? Because a lot of times in these type of cases, court cases, and to get conviction out of someone, you need the murder weapon, the knife, the, the pipe, the gun, the rope, whatever. A lot of times authorities are running around trying to find the murder weapon. And once they get that murder weapon, it, it is almost a shoe in that whoever they arrest gets convicted because they found the murder weapon. But in Brian's case, they did not find the murder weapon yet. This blog here probably gets gives the best analysis when it comes to can you get a conviction out of somebody without a murder weapon. Check it out. This blog here breaks it down pretty good on the question, is finding the murder weapon that important? And it says here, do they need the weapon? A big question that we received recently is, is a murder weapon necessary for conviction in a prosecution for murder or manslaughter? The quick answer is no. A murder weapon is not necessary and neither is an actual body needed for a conviction on a homicide charge. Now, we're just talking about the murder weapon here. The murder weapon is helpful to the prosecution because it is extremely powerful evidence against the suspect. In addition to the weapon producing potential DNA or fingerprint evidence, it also potentially can sometimes produce an actual record of the suspect purchasing the weapon. These factors, as well as potentially finding the weapon in a suspect's actual or constructive possession are all strong examples of circumstantial evidence, which is often necessary, especially in cases where there is weak direct evidence, eyewitnesses or video. So to answer the question, is it important to have the murder weapon for a conviction? Here it says, no. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts on that. Now, Brian Kohlberger, they haven't found the murder weapon. Do you think authorities should go around trying to find the murder weapon? Uh, that would require a lot of resources, almost like a needle in the haystack when it comes to Idaho and Washington, if the murder weapon is there. A lot of land, a lot of trees, a lot of mountainous terrain. We saw the affidavit of probable cause, the whereabouts of Brian on the 13th, zigzagging south of Moscow. Uh, where was he at? Lewiston, uh, Idaho area, Clarkston, Washington area, Johnson, Idaho. A lot of land there. Do you think authorities should go out there and try to find the murder weapon? Or do you think the affidavit of probable cause against Brian Kohlberger is strong enough that authorities and the prosecution can get a conviction without the murder weapon? Or the prosecution just waiting, maybe someone finds the murder weapon and then gives it to them. Because I think once and if this murder weapon can be found, I think it would be even stronger evidence against Brian Kohlberger. Let me know your thoughts on that. Covering this case, no stone left unturned. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. I want to hear about, I want to hear from you and I want to hear your thoughts about the murder weapon. You think they'll get a conviction out of Brian without it? Or do you think they need it? Do you think they should look around for it? Do you think they should search for this murder weapon based off the pings on his phone and go around there with metal detectors or whatever technology, technology they have and try to find this murder weapon? I want to hear from you. We'll talk soon. I'll be posting more videos later. Everyone be safe. God bless.